Hello everyone with Math Everywhere channel. This is here Nizar Kiwan, the head of the math department and Vision International School. I want to talk today about solving systems of linear equations by elimination. Elimination means getting rid of something, getting rid of X or getting rid of Y. So if you get rid of X or Y, your equation will be easier. It will have only one variable. For example, if you get rid of X, you will still have Y, which is easy. Move Y to the left side, the numbers to the other side, isolate Y and get the answer. Then now you can find X, which is the second step. Just remember two things. First, ordering X under X and Y under Y, which is important. And the second thing is, pick up one of them, X or Y choose, actually the easiest one it depends on the question look at the coefficients of x up and down or y up and down in both equations the coefficients must be the same with different signs for example 3x up and negative 3x down 7y up and negative 7y down i'm not mentioning y and x together i said one of them only pick up x or y example 3x plus 7y equals 2, negative 3x plus y equals 6. The question is, solve this system of linear equation by elimination. That means I want you to use elimination. Don't use graphing or substitution. So elimination. Now, do you remember when I said, remember two things? The first one, are they organized or ordered? Yes x above x y above y equal above equal number above number now the second one look at the coefficients here i have seven positive seven here i have positive one are they the same with different signs no look here x three and negative three they are the same with different signs three and negative three that means it's ready so all what I have to do now is adding them to each other, add both equations to each other. 3x plus negative 3x is 0, or 0x, which is 0. 7y plus 1y, 8y. 2 plus 6, 8. Divide by 8 both sides, y equals 1. Now, do you remember the question solve the system of linear equations by elimination? When I say solve, what does it mean? What do I need? Give me the variables, right? How many variables are here? Two. You gave me only one, which is y. I need x. What should you do? Since you get y, now substitute it in one of the equations. Let's say the first one. Whenever you see y, put one. And write it as it is. 3x plus 7 times 1 equals 2. 7 times 1 is 7. Move it to the other side, it will be minus 7. So 3x equals 2, negative, 2 minus 7, negative 5. Divide both sides by 3, so x will be negative 5 over 3. So this is the solution. x is 5 over negative 5 over 3, y is 1. That's all. Easy. Remember one thing, in math, don't be afraid of fractions. Don't be afraid of decimals. Decimals are numbers. Fractions are numbers. Zero is a number. Don't just say no solution or, oh, teacher, we are used to see just whole numbers, like three and two. What, what's the problem if you get negative five over three? What is the problem?